day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Serious. A situation. So in that, I look back, I'm like, man, if 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 I would have been ordained a ministry under that 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 a minister under that ministry, I'd have been locked in. You'd have been indoctrinated into error. Yeah. Yeah. And I wouldn't have been or or become who I am. Yeah. Hey look, another thing they do other they, they, they try to pull your license. You ever Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. How do you do that? How, how do you how do you pull a license? How do you sit someone down? Well, I, I tell you, tell you what, what it, with us it was it was money. Because uh -huh. if, if your license was pulled, your credentials got pulled, you didn't get called to preach in all places. Uh -huh. See, yeah. For us to preach, I didn't mean no preacher got paid until I got in the church. But <laughs> <Well, laughs> well, when they. Like the bishop, if he visited the church, supposedly it was a five hundred dollar offering that he was supposed to pay. What? So, yeah, whenever he visited the church, he was supposed to see from that church five hundred dollars. Now, other preachers, the ministers, stuff, the evangelists, this, 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 the Bible, this, not. There were all, there were scales, there were pay scales that are pay scales that are customary for their, you know, visit. If they come to preach or to minister at that church, then they were going to get so much money. And that's how our system was going. That's oh, it, sad. Was, it, was, it was built up like that though. And and that that, that is sad. Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh yeah. That is sad. That just that's a confirmation. When we have convocations, oh, Lord, 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 all, all our convocations came with a you got a menu of money that you had to pay. This is really good for us. You had to pay this amount of money this night, this amount of another night. If you were LG, you had to pay this much, you super you had to pay this much. If you were so, so let me ask you this. So the spiritual father that you were birthed from, <laughs> when they when look when they come to your church, they get yeah spiritual gifts. Yeah, am I correct? Yeah, that's how I went. Because they're because they're your <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. spiritual father. Taxes. <laughs> I don't believe I don't believe that you didn't know this. I I I. I, I Ooh, I got like you say, I got a cousin and, and so got like people in my family that are preachers. Ain't but a few dog on a pimp and a preacher the same guy. They just talking to the same <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah. Hey, wow. My brother chimed in. <laughs> <laughs> well see, I think I thank God I didn't know this. I like that, brother. You see, four is right for you, man. <laughs> we we gonna start talking to C four. <laughs> yep, that's legit. That's yeah. Man, yeah, it's just part of it. And that's why they said, "Well, I don't just invite anybody to focus." Hmm. They in there most of the time because they know they get paid. That's the look. Yep. Their so, job. so then this is something that I did notice that most. Uh, churches would have people come in and speak. You had to be an ordained minister to go up right. to the podium. So when they pull you up and everybody else had to have a little podium set on the side yeah. for yeah. them to come and speak. But yeah. then when the governors and whatnot came in, guess where they went? The main podium. They went to the podium, which they coined an altar uh -huh. which there was only one altar, and there is no more altars needed, and that was the cross. Yeah. But then you, what, what we did, the hierarchy excluded Christ. I mean, at some point, Christ just became like a little ornament <laughs> on a cake or something. It's like he was the guy hanging on the cross in the middle of the church. <laughs> as far as homage and obedience to him was concerned, that didn't exist. It's like, it was always to the men. It was always to the leadership. And that's what I, 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 I like I said, I got to the point where I didn't even know the gospel was anymore. I lost sight of, I had to pull away from the church to remove what the gospel was. Because the hierarchy and the, and the traditions were so prevalent that you literally lost sight of why you were doing what you were doing. And, and that, that's a fact. Uh, man, we were talking, 
it, it, the cardinality was so great. We just lost our presiding bishop, our bishop from our, our, our ecclesiastical jurisdiction died uh, about three months ago. And uh, he had been sick for a confusion of time. His conversation was not towards spiritual lines. His conversation was more toward the material stuff. Like okay. we, we were talking before, uh, Pastor Taylor, we were not trained in spirituality. We were trained in carnality. In the Bible itself, the scriptures themselves were perverted to accommodate that. Yeah, yeah. We were taught carnality, and that's that's what we followed up. That's what we knew. That's you know, have a good family, good you know, good wife, good kids, you know, good job, nice car, house. Hey, that's what good. that's what the blessings of God was. Hey, I, mean, I was sitting there just like, how many people did you probably ran across that was jealous of your anointing? I, I never know. I never knew. Uh, I never paid attention to it. Because I, I mean, like, when I was going to say this stuff, I, I had kind of like, I get like tunnel vision. Yeah. And I can't, I don't focus peripherally what's going on around me. I got, I get kind of consumed with what's going on in my, in, in front of me, in my head, more than anything else. And then I lose sight of all the rest of the stuff. But um, the one thing I did know until later was the messages that I preached were not in compliance with what they were doing. Wow. So I didn't. Call, I, I would get called to preach maybe once, okay. or I would preach every once every blue moon or so. But I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't asked to do a lot of preaching because my focus was off. Oh. And, and I mean, literally speaking, we start talking spiritual stuff among men and women who are not spiritually minded. Right. They think you're crazy. Deep. It, it, and it, it was. It, it really worked out that way. And I, I didn't quite understand. I, like I said, one of my. Pastors told me that I talked about the Bible too much. Woo. That, that surprised the heck out of me when he said that. But then I began to watch him and his lifestyle and the things that he really focused on. Uh huh. And I understood where he was coming from. But I didn't see it. In this. I, I, on a personal note, I think our spirit is the most important portion of our, our being because it's the strongest, it's the most influential. If you nurture it, it right. says the spirit that gives life to the body and that the flesh drops in nothing. Yeah. So we can blow a lot into our flesh, but that's not going to sustain us. You really got to feed the spirit in order for your flesh to be sustained. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> and they didn't, they didn't approach it from that perspective. So I can honestly say, you know how people you say you're so earthly, you're heavenly minded, you're no earthly good. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I can't. I, 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 I don't. I don't think that's an accurate term, but I think I lean toward that. <laughs> you know, like practical application of scripture. I would I think I didn't know the. You know, to me, I didn't see the. I didn't see the breakdown. But a lot of times they didn't see the correlation. I didn't see a need to modify your behavior to be acceptable. You didn't see all that fighting in the meetings? How about the meetings? I saw that, and that's that's one reason I quit. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Fighting in meetings? Oh, oh. shoot there, man. <laughs> they, 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 you know, this 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 all reminds me of when they had that reality show about the pastors. Yeah. 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 You know, I never watched the episode because yeah. at that point I was like, there could be no good from this. <laughs> and, and, and I never seen an episode, but I do know from people's conversation that it was just as bad. And these people were trying to show themselves as being spiritual, but their their flesh was coming out and oh, yeah. and, and all kind of other stuff. But I like I said, I never seen an episode because I just couldn't. I couldn't do that just like when I was, I used to watch Sunday's Best. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. But when the panel started putting people down who were coming up, I mean, talking about them and making jokes about them, yeah. then I was like, what kind of, what, 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 <laughs> what is God this? What, what is God? God would never do that. Yeah. Go up and north. Wow, it's deep, man. But I mean, <laughs> but it, what, it, what, it, what it remind me of the spirit of Cain. The spirit of Cain, that envy, you know. Uh, Cause I look, I'm gonna leave. We're gonna close with this last scripture because I, I thought it was interesting, Elder. Uh, this is uh, after Jesus rose Lazarus from the uh, from the dead. <laughs> look at this one. Read that, Elder. <laughs> It was cold down there. I know that's what you're right, thinking. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, 
uh, Addison played ladders through the play that we did together, right? It was great. <laughs> he did a great job. He did, okay. But people that are Jews therefore knew that he was there. And they came not for Jesus' sake only, but they, <laughs> I love this. <laughs> but, but they, but that they might see Lazarus also, whom he had raised from the dead. Yeah. The chief priests consulted that they might put Lazarus. <laughs> see? Hey, it's so funny. <laughs> also to death. So he gonna kill Lazarus too. Because... <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, right? They the like, about reading the reading of him. The thing. It is willing to kill this man. Yeah, again, they raise him from the dead, and they gonna go out and kill him again. It was pretty crazy. All, all because of what they, they didn't like the fact that Jesus, many people, what is that? Because by by reason of him, many of the Jews went away and believed on Jesus. Yeah, I mean by that, I mean that didn't make no sense. That it don't make crazy. no sense. It don't make no sense if you take it from God's perspective. But yeah. if God, if God brings a man back, because the devil can't. Because if he could, would nobody die? They were so concerned about losing the status. Hey, 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 he was messing up their money, okay? Was, That's what this was talk, about. Talk, messing talk. up their money. That's it. Yeah. That's true. Tell and the when truth. you start doing that, people get mad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The devil doesn't have the Holy Ghost. He just got a bunch of fallen angels to work with. Yep. But, like you said, why y'all think Jesus died in the first place? Out of the NBA That's right. It, 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 the the politics was unreal. It, the politics yes, was unreal. And the people couldn't elevate themselves above that, so they start to bring him down. And that's the same yes. thing that's going to happen now. When these churches, and these churches are going to go back to the But when they get there, they're going to go back to the church. They're going to go back to the church. They're going to go back to the church. Yeah, you break it. Now you gonna have to repeat that because the enemy didn't want us to hear that. Right, right. Battlestar Galactica. You you gonna you gonna have to repeat all that. Back up. He anoint your mic and, and start over. Give us some instruction, Chris. What, what's going on with his mic? Chris? I think he's talking too close to the mic. I don't know what's wrong with it, but I do know it must that, be that he need to repeat. Oh, there he is. Yeah, yeah. go ahead and repeat what you said. That's, right. That's Chris. That's Chris. 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 Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Who's trying to get out of me? Couldn't hear you. You frozen anyway. You might get kicked out. <laughs> But but that spirit of Cain, while, he, while he's getting ready to come back so we can close out, it, it's that spirit of Cain. Okay, Elder, re repeat what you said, because I think it was important, me personally. <laughs> no, the uh, well, no, only thing I was saying was that Christ's issue was, it was about the money, it was about the influence. If they couldn't, if they, the whole thing, when Chris spoke and said that that's why Christ died, I was just agreeing with the fact that he, he, he was speaking to him. We see it from a spiritual perspective because we've grown there. Right. But the only thing they saw was the politics. And all yeah. they see in the church now is the politics. So when we go back to church, if we ever get back to the state where we're having congregation again, a lot of you guys have already lost their members. Yeah. They're gonna they're gonna start going to churches that are feeding them spiritually. And they're gonna get upset about that. In the first place, we're gonna probably experience persecution. It's gonna be too much church. Oh yeah, you know what man. When you're preaching the gospel, man, it's like if these guys are compromised and willing to sell their souls that they might maintain their influence and their income. And when you start preaching against that, yeah, yeah. people are gonna really, really get it. Yeah, so what you so what you saying, brother, that COVID nineteen might have been something to help restructure the church and bring it back to its original intentions? Brother, I I, I to honestly speak, Chris, I hadn't watched the very many people. Well, I, I say it was in line to God because it definitely occurred. It, 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 it affected any church that needed change. 
Hey, hey, I ain't saying you're wrong, brother. I ain't saying you're wrong. They, they, we needed hey. to close the doors of these churches, man. They this is one of them paradigm shifts, buddy. This yeah. is a paradigm shift. But when you see something that affects the world, then maybe there's something that's behind that. Yeah. Because when God moves, the world floods. You hear me? That's yes, right, sir. That's right. What, what you see, it's that bad. Yeah. So everybody, and you know it's every time somebody tried to go back into the church to have first start dying again. Yeah. So it's like, we, we, we're resting to get back in, but look, now you come back in and not like that. So to me, the revival started, and we're literally being pushed forward towards the, the, the culmination of this, this, this age. I think we really are now moving towards the end of this age. I'm looking forward to the rapture, man. Hey, yes, are you saying, because spiritually wise, there, there's always been a cure for this thing. Because spiritually, you mean the world system or for the kingdom? Yes. COVID-19. Yes. For the kingdom, because well, well, we've always had a fix. I mean, it's, well, it's, I, look, I'm looking at three fixes right now. Well, one, one C4. But and then two two pictures of two fixes. There, <laughs> three fixes. I see three you, fixes you, like six people in my eye. Like Actually, four because I'm sitting in this picture. But we are the cure for COVID nineteen. We really are. Yep. We 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 because it's it's an oppression of the devil. Yep. So that it is, we 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 are the cure, and no matter what men come up with. It will not be a cure. It will be a practice to maintain uh, civilization. So it's not to cure mankind. It's to make you immune to this. Mm. But there, there, no different than, than the flu. I guarantee you, you still going to have COVID-like symptoms <laughs> when you get this shot. Well, this winter, winter challenge for people. Hey, wait, wait. When y'all get that shot, that what yeah. you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> y'all ain't thinking. <laughs> well, 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 let me let me let me fix that. I stand corrected. When when people start getting these COVID nineteen shots, they're gonna start experiencing what COVID nineteen is about. Okay. Yes, sir. So, so with that in mind, I guess the elder, we need to pray out because I think a lot of more churches coming online now, and I think that's what get the bandwidth. Yeah, yeah, maybe so. Well, then they loose in Jesus' name. Bandwidth, <laughs> be with us. Amen. I like that. <laughs> well, 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 thank you for having made the way. Well, you know, our prayers have changed. You know, come with complaints. You know, come with petitions. But we come thanking you for. What you're doing in our lives, how you allowing us to be a part of this move, God, your move. Um, Foster felt it though, everybody was going to be happy when we stood in our places. Even though the word says that the earth is self creation, it's self wait for the revelation of the moans and groans for revelation of the Son of God. We understand now that when we rise up and manifest, that the world itself is going to come against us. Yes. And that we shall be hated of all nations for your name's sake, but it will not diminish who we are in any wise. It will diminish who we are. We pray, Father, that you continually guard our hearts, that we might love our enemies, that we might pray for them that despite the use and persecution, that we might bless them that curse us, Lord, because you've sent us for their souls. You have caused us to be gospel ministers of the gospel of reconciliation. You have caused us to be rulers and priests, kings and priests. Yes. And it's our responsibility, Father God, to minister your mercy and your grace toward a dying, lost world. You healed all of them. You said, go out and bring the good and the evil. Lord, just fix our hearts so we can have the same kind of attitude toward your creation that you have. Yes. You don't want to disseminate. You said, let love be without dissemination, so she does not. Father God, really instilling us a desire, burning desire for the, the salvation of the soul that are out there, Lord God. The ones that are lost, those that are 99, the one that you went for and left the 99. Of. Help us, Father God, to go and seek those. Those are the ones that you sent us for. Those on, are the ones that you left us in this earth. That is the harvest that you called for us to reach. Yes. So I pray this day, Father God, that when we go forth to preach this gospel of the kingdom, 
Well, that we do it in love. In love. Without love, there's no effectiveness. You said that faith works by love. Come on. We know that you can't save these people's souls. And we know that their eyes have been blinded by the God of the world. Yes. We know these things, Father God. So let our flesh quiet itself and not respond when you put us in the midst of these situations so that we might maintain our perspective in you and understand what it is that you send us to do. Let us not lose sight of it, Father God. It's like a suicide mission a lot of times, but we ask you to help us to embrace the suicide. Yeah, help us to embrace the problem of God, God. Help us to embrace our own demise that we might accomplish the will of the earth. And this day, Father, we really do pray for President Donald Trump. We pray for him, Lord God, because obviously he, he has the need to know who you are. Mm. We pray that you put this man in spotlight globally. He's on stage all over the world. And we pray that you move on this man, Lord God, to glorify yourself. To glorify yourself first, but to save his soul, if possible. Yes. This day, we come to you as the sons of God. We come to you as your offspring, and we make this petition before you, that you touch this man and bring him into submission to your will, in front of the entire world. Let this man come to know who you are. Give him a chance with eternal salvation. Yes. Bring him into alignment of your will. The eyes of the world upon him. And we pray, Father God, that you use this opportunity to glorify yourself. Continue to work in, 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 in us, Lord, and through us. Accomplish your will in the earth. Let all that we, be, we do be done to your glory and to the presence of your kingdom. And protect us in the course of Psalm 9 and 1. As we go forth and surrender to you what you said we needed to do. Give it up all that we have that we might serve. It's that way we can't be your disciple. This I ask in the name of my Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. 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 Before you guys go, can I give a quick testimony? Yes, sir. Sure. So, last Sunday, we were in here. We we're talking about the power, of the glory of God, and all this, the authority that we have. Yes, sir. And, uh, but everybody in here was sniffling, running nose, blowing their nose. You remember that? Uh -huh. Yep. Change the weather. <laughs> and you remember when I said, from yep. this moment forward, I'm not going to blow my nose. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and so then we got off. And I'm, I'm going to tell you, I did not blow my nose. Okay. But after that, I said that and proclaimed that. Right. Uh, my nose kept running. So then I said another. I said, I took authority. And I said, I command every cell in my nose and everything that pertains to my sinus system to line up as God intended to in Jesus' name. And I expect it, and I will not blow my nose. <laughs> Let me tell you, my nose flooded like... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's not just would not stop. And my wife handed me Kleenexes. <laughs> And I'm like, nope, I'm standing on faith. I'm not blowing my nose. Now, I wiped it, but I mean, it was just running dog. Here. And I just wipe and wipe. I'm sticking Kleenex up in my nose. <laughs> and I'm like, nope, nope, I'm standing on God's word. And so after <laughs> so long, I don't know how long this went on. How long? Right. And I'm like, I'm like, God, now you said that you you will, uh, if I use the authority of Jesus, that that your word will wipe, will, 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 will actually come to pass. Now you said that. <laughs> and so God, you know what God told me? He said, your nose is doing exactly what you said it's supposed to do. You need to attack what's attacking your nose. Oh, 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 oh. Well, what? So I spoke. Well, come on now. I said, I come against everything that is attacking my sinus system. In the Ooh. name of Jesus. Ooh, the of the I didn't even realize when my nose dried up. Ooh. Amen. Amen. Interesting. But let me tell you, so you know what I told me? God, God shared that with me. And he said, you got to know what you're fighting. Wow. Amen. Wow. Amen. In other words, you weren't fighting your body. No, my body lined up when I told it to. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it did what it was supposed to do. Yeah. <laughs> it did what it was supposed to do. <laughs> it turned the faucet on. Uh-huh. <laughs> Watch these allergies out. <laughs> yeah. Man, man, it ran and ran. <laughs> wow. Praise God.
<laughs> so I just wanted to share that. So hopefully it encourages you guys and it focuses your battle. I like that. You know, maybe it ain't. May, it may. It may not be you. Woo! We've been fighting. The, we've been fighting this virus and the flesh. Yes. We, we come against whatever is coming against us. Woo. That is our fight. That is where our authority is going out. Because, I mean, once we once we proclaim that how our body is functioning the way it should, now we attack what's attacking us. I like that. That's a good. That's good. That's really it. So that that I had to share that because it was funny. I told my friend we was in here cracking. I was like, man, my nose started running as soon as I said that. <laughs> so yeah. Amen. But anyway. I love you guys, man. Y'all be blessed. Thanks, right. thanks for showing up. Stay blessed. All right, y'all. Y'all take it easy. All okay, right. bro.